Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on moving a user form using VBA in Excel. I have on this worksheet a green rectangle. If I right click, move down to assign macro, you can see that this is connected to a subroutine named open form. And if I move over to the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11, you can see I have the subroutine open form with one line of code main.show. Main is the name of this user form I have here with the blue background. So I want to write code and associate that code with these controls so that I can use these spin buttons to move the user form to change the position of the user form without having to use the pointer. These two spin buttons will be set up to move the user form right and left and up and down and this command button used to center it. Now it's going to start out centered so if I move back here to the worksheet and click on the green rectangle and open the user form it starts out centered. These spin buttons will allow it to move right and left, up and down and the command button will center it. It'll put it back where it is now. So moving back to the Visual Basic Editor, I'm going to start with creating a subroutine that the other subroutines will call with the values in this text box 3 and text box 4. And I'll call this subroutine move form. So I'm going to go to the code, double click on user form open up the main code here and this first subroutine I'll just call move form so sub move form and I want to accept two arguments it'll be by value v as integer for the vertical value and by value h as integer for the horizontal value. Then with this user form, so it'll be with me, and before I put code in here, I'm going to end this with statement. So end with back up here, tab. So with me dot top equals dot top plus V. Then we have dot left equals dot left plus H. So we're going to use this subroutine to actually move the form across the screen. Then I'm going to add a subroutine that will center the user form. I'm just going to copy and paste this in. So for this one, I'll go over to the user form and double click command button one and paste the code in. So again, with me, except this time it's dot start up position equals one, dot left equals application dot left plus half the application width, 0.5 times the application width, minus half the user form width and dot top equals application dot top plus half the application height minus half the user form height. So this will center the user form. Then we just need four short subroutines for spin button one up and down and spin button two up and down. And the spin buttons are here. So just a note on how I created these. So the text boxes I dragged on from the toolbox. They're fairly straightforward. I adjusted the font and font size. And the command button similarly just dragged on. And I changed the back color and the four color and of course the caption. And then for the spin buttons, 
drag them on and by default the orientation is set to automatic so you can see here it's set up for the buttons pointing up and down vertical but if you expand it to the right it changes to horizontal you can set this though take it off of auto and you can set it to vertical or horizontal so for example if I want it to be this size but vertical I select vertical and now it's set to pointing up and down so if I double click on spin button 1 it's going to come up with spin button 1 underscore change but I don't want change I want spin down or spin up so moving over here to this drop down box on the top right I'm going to select spin down and delete this one that's set up for change so there's just one line of code for all of these spin down and spin up events and this is going to be call move form that original subroutine I wrote and in this first case it's going to be zero comma negative text box three dot value so as you can see with the first value set at zero when it calls move form we're not going to have any vertical movement what the text box three value in for horizontal we're going to have horizontal movement but it's going to be the opposite of what's put into the text box so a value of 20 becomes negative 20 and we'll use the same logic for the remaining spin buttons so to create these other subroutines I'm just going to paste them in you can see they follow the same logic so we have spin button 1 spin up which again we find this event up here in the top right except this one is 0 for the vertical and the text box 3 value for the horizontal and then for spin button 2 that's this one here the one to the right it's going to be text box 4 value for spin down for the vertical horizontal set at 0 and negative text box 4 value for the vertical and 0 for the horizontal so moving back to the worksheet to demonstrate this I open up the user form and let's put a value of 25 for the horizontal and for the vertical say a value of 50 so with those values in place if I click this left arrow the user form moves to the left corresponding to this value of 25 if I click the right arrow it moves to the right corresponding to that value and this up arrow on spin button 2 moves corresponding to 50 and if I hit the center command button it centers the user form so using this logic you can move the user form using VBA according to other events that occur on the user form perhaps you want to have another user form come up at the same time and move this user form to the right to be out of the way or you want to move the user form to make something on the worksheet visible to the user so they can see what's going on on the worksheet and still see the content in the user form. I hope you found this video on moving a user form using VBA and Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.